let's move on. Uh, let's now turn our attention to UFC Fight Night. Muniz versus Allen from this past weekend at the UFC Apex. Uh, let's talk about this main event. In the middleweight division, Brendan Allen gets the biggest win of his career. Oh, real quick. Uh, let's talk about why that was the main event. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, because uh, Krulov got sick, yep. right? He got a stomach food, virus? I think he got food, food poisoning poison or something. Yep, that's what it was. Food poisoning. And so the main event got scrapped. Sorry, Ryan Spann. And uh, the co-main moved up into the main event slot. So middleweights, Brendan Allen and Andre Muniz faced off. And Brendan Allen gets the biggest win of his career thus far uh, by getting a submission win over Andre Muniz in the third round, coming at 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Mark, let's start with you. Give us your reaction. You've been on the Brendan Allen train for a little bit now. You're proud I of your guy. Let us and know. then I didn't pick him, though, which doesn't make me look That's so true. good. But I'll, well, I'll get to that. Um, huge win for him. I am so mad I didn't pick him. Uh, this was really competitive in round one in the striking. I thought they were each landing some big, clean shots. Uh, I thought Muniz actually looked pretty good striking. Then Allen ends up on top by the time round one ends. He does totally fine for about a minute in, in Muniz's guard. He moves to side control, scores some points there. And already you're kind of like, wow, like, all right, that didn't seem too hard. Then we get to round two, and Brendan Allen fucking works Andre Muniz on the ground. He works him. Like, it wasn't close. Muniz wasn't even defending well. He wasn't threatening with anything. I, I think I'm ready to say that we have been hoodwinked and bamboozled by Andre Muniz into thinking that he had some elite jujitsu game. Like, yes, he subbed uh, Fabinski. Okay, he subbed Eric Anders, okay. I think that sub of Jacare kind of fooled us all into thinking this man is more elite than he is. I understand he's a black belt. I'm not trying to say he's, like, not that. But I think it was a bit of a mirage. Like, think about it now. We, we thought he looked off against Uriah Hall. I don't think that he was now. I think his ground game is just not what we thought it was. And I think that Jacare finish kind of tricked us into thinking this man was like the next Jacare or the next Damian Maya. And he is not. He he didn't look like he was even on Brendan Allen's level on the mat. Uh, Allen worked him. He's not supposed to be doing that if Muniz is, is the grappler that he has been billed as, th that we thought he was. So I think he got exposed here. I think we found out that he is not that guy. And um, hmm. I think that Either way, it is still a huge win for Brendan Allen. He, he certainly announced himself. He got the main event shine. Happy to see that. Really excited to see what he he does next. But, yeah, my main takeaway was just I, I think we were fooled by Andre Muniz. Omar, let me throw it over to you. Give us your take of Brendan Allen getting it done over Andre Muniz. Goes to show you, you can't trust me. Fucking believe anything. Because I was looking at that fight like, God damn. Brendan Allen's top game must be fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> like if he's doing this to to Muniz, he he must he must have some crazy ass pressure from the top. But, I think that's probably valid too. But if if you just like, look at how Muniz was moving, it was like I, I don't know, I don't know. Did we all pick Muniz? I'm pretty sure I did. You picked Allen, dude. Oh shit! Look at me. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, Sorry, Omar. Go ahead. No, dude, it was a good fight, man. And and honestly, by the time I was done with it, I knew I had picked Muniz. But shit, I was happy for Allen, man. I was very happy for Allen. I thought it was a great performance, uh, a hell of a way to capitalize on a very rare opportunity to just kind of pop up, right? Like co-main event on a card, no one really gave really that big of a shit about. Um, but then, you know, the fight, the main event happens or doesn't happen. Uh, I felt bad for Span. Span looked like he took it real hard. And uh, yeah. and Brendan Allen gets to take the top spot and puts on an absolute performance that you could replay over and over again. So I was happy for him, man. I really was. He was scaring me a little bit because Muniz was landing some bombs, I believe, in the third yeah. round. Am I right? First round. First round, uh, first round as well? It only went two rounds. It was over midway through the second round. No, third no round. it went three rounds. 
Am I drunk? That was the third round that he subbed him in? Yeah. You're drunk. Oh, shit. So I'm blending Either rounds. way, okay. throughout that fight, on the feet, I thought that Muniz was looking pretty good. And Muniz also... Yeah, I agree. Is it me? I feel like Andre Muniz has the frame. Like, if he wanted to go become a bodybuilder and compete in the Olympia, his frame would fucking blow up. Because the man is... Ma- he seems massive. See, like, I Brandon wonder if that's... like a regular guy in shape. I wonder if that's good. If that's really what the issue is, right? Like, is Andre Muniz relying more on his strength and his technique? Is he gassing more because he looks like a goddamn Adonis? Like, does he need to tone it down a little bit yeah, more and like focus on the endurance more than the strength? Just like his but shoulders are like so wide, like he just has this yeah. massive frame. But if he tries yeah. to muscle everything and he's not using his technique on the ground, he's not going to be doing much, especially when guys are. Are using technique and Brendan Allen is not a small dude. Like you gotta, I mean, it, you gotta use your brain for those moments, man. It could be a factor because you look back at his three submission wins in the UFC; they're all first round. So maybe he's that guy. Maybe he's the guy that you you make him go past five minutes and the game's not quite there. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, okay, let's move on now to. Or you want to talk about what's next for Brendan Allen, the winner? Mark, you got a name for me? If you're the matchmaker of the UFC, put on that hat. Tell me what you would do with Brendan Allen next. It's not my favorite name in the world, but I think it's probably what makes sense. I really wanted to give him someone sexier, but I just, uh, there's a lot of guys matched up. I feel like I couldn't justify some of it. So my answer is going to be Jack Hermanson. I feel like it's an appropriate enough next step for Brendan Allen where where if he got that W, he would be f- firmly in into some big fights. Another guy with strong grappling skills. Yeah. Big test. What about you, Omar? Any other names? Uh, I don't know if these guys have... I can't remember if they have anything scheduled or not. I don't think that they do. They probably do. Uh, All these middleweights do. (laughs) Uh, But I was looking at uh, Roman Delitz. Vittori. As the next one. Vittori? That's who he's fighting, yeah. Yeah. And Brunson? What about Brunson? We're previewing him in, in fucking 20 more minutes, dude. See? <laughs> See? Dude, Deletes is fucking terrifying. Isn't he terrifying? So we'll take her Manson then, I guess. <laughs> uh, There's not I, really many options up there without bumping him all the way to the top at this point. Yeah, I, I agree. I, and I want to put <clears throat> Muniz in there with someone who can grapple. So I was actually looking at um, Kyle Bahalio, who is fighting. Uh, nice. Michal Olashajuk, if he wins that fight, that's where I want to go. I want to see Muniz in there with another guy that can grapple, see if he gets exposed again, and then I freaking take my take and I and I stamp it. I thought Delitz would be a good good test in that regard as well because I thought he's a really good grappler and his pace is oh, crazy for sure, as but fuck. Muniz ain't deserving Delitz right now. Well, 